hello guys in this video i will be showing you how you can implement retrieval augmented generation or rag locally by using lm studio and anything llm lm studio is probably one of the easiest way to run your large language models locally in simple and easy way anything llm is another technology that enables you to use these LLMs even with more ease and you can create a chatbot very very easily. I have covered both of them separately in various videos so just search anything LLM or LM studio in the channel and you should be able to find lot of videos. But for the purpose of this video I am going to simply use both of these tools to first download a model and then implement a rag by using both of them. Before I proceed I wanted to give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring this virtual machine VM where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 but you can use Windows or Mac or any other operating system and also they are sponsoring the GPU which is RTX A6000. If you are looking to rent a GPU then I will drop the link in video's description with a discount coupon which if you use you will be getting 50% discount and I would highly recommend them because it is not only performant but very very flexible okay so let's go back to our rag thing which we are going to implement and if you don't know what rag is rag stands for retrieval augmented generation it is a technique used in artificial intelligence to improve the ability of models to generate text or other content it involves ai model retrieving a set of relevant documents or pieces of text from a large data set and then using this information to generate new text that is more accurate and informative. This approach is particularly useful for tasks such as answering questions, summarizing text and generating long form content as it allows the AI model to draw on a large body of existing knowledge and generate more comprehensive and accurate responses. In simple terms, a RAG means like having a super smart research assistant that can quickly find the most relevant information and use it to generate high quality content and by the way this is not the only way of implementing rag but this is one of the way because a lot of people either use lm studio or anything llm if you combine both of them great things happen very very easily okay so that said let's first go to my lm studio this is my lm studio just download any model of your choice i'm just going to download this llama 3 for this purpose so i have just typed llama 3 in lm studio press enter and there are heaps of quantized levels available i believe i already have downloaded this one if you click on this folder icon you will see i have uh, gone with this quant factory dolphin 2.9 llama 3 8 billion gguf so once you have that you can either load it to chat or just click on this local server icon on the left hand side from there you can simply um, click on start model start server sorry it says select the model to load so just click on the middle and from here just load this dolphin 2.9 it'll take too long and that is done and you see that the server is also started from here make sure that you have got this server name which is a http localhost running on port 1234 okay so that is done now and now we know that our server is running model is being served here now let's go to our anything llm and by the way if you don't want to watch other video of installation of lm studio all you need to do for installation is just click here download lm studio for linux windows and stuff and then follow the prompts and you should be able to run it Similarly, for anything LLM, you can just simply click on download anything for LLM. If you want to go with download anything for Linux, so I'm installing it on Linux. As you can see, it is appearing here at the top. That is done. And I'm just going to show it in the folder for you. Only if it would show me. Let me open the folder here. There you go. So this is the file which it has downloaded and it, it is in the downloads folder so let me open the terminal this is my 
LM Studio terminal. And so I have I'm going to open another terminal here. You can see. So in one terminal, my LM Studio is running, and here I am just going to go to my downloads directory. If I do ls, you will see that there is anything LM um, LLM desktop. So I'm just going to go and do u plus x to just to search just to make the permissions executable on this anything that is done and now let's run it and in order to run it just do dot slash and it is going to run it so let's wait for it should it take too long it is loading the workspaces so let's wait for it to load and then you see that it is loaded and then next just click on get started from this list just scroll down select lm studio you see lm studio selected and it has picked up its uh, lm studio base url which is this get model selection click here it is waiting for the url which is correct so now go to your lm studio and uh, you can either type this one uh, i'm just going to go and type this one here or you can grab it from your lm studio so as soon as you will type this url it has automatically populated here Conf factory the one which we downloaded so let's click click on next it says for so yeah just go with i think it is up to you that how much context window you do you want normally i just take the default so 4096 this is how much spotlight it is going to use now in the next one i normally just go with this one embedding preference which is good vector database launch to be this is all local so i'm just going to go with this one now we can skip the sur uh, survey for now and you can just call it my rag click next and you see your rag is implemented now what ha what has happened here is that uh, you have very easily implemented this and now it is even telling you what what you need to do here how good is that so what we have done is we have used lm studio to load our model and we have put in our anything llm to create a rag now in order to use your own stuff just click on this my rag you see that now we are in our own workspace if you want to upload your own document through which you want to chat just click on this upward arrow and from here just upload the file i'm just going to go with maybe downloads from here i have just my pdf.pdf .pdf file and this contains all of my own personal information or you can even fetch your website so i could give my own website which is uh i could simply go with that but i'm not going to go there just click here on my pdf move to workspace and now it is in my workspace click on save and embed what save and embed does is it converts your pdf file or whatever data is there into numerical representation which is called as embedding and it puts it into the vector database in our case it will be launch db now that is done that is awesome and now you just click here and then you can chat with it so you can just ask it anything like who is Fahad Mirza. You can even upload the document from here, by the way. So if I click here, you will see my document is already there. So I'm just going to ask it who is Fahad Mirza. Press center here. There you go. Because otherwise, that model dolphin doesn't know who I am. You see how good is that? So you can upload any document here you can use anything and this is once you have downloaded this stuff you can disconnect internet and it will be fully remote also you can serve it to other people you can just install it uh, on other servers you just point it to lm studio you can put it in your whole network in within your own company how good is that so that's it guys this is how easy it is to use both lm studio and download anything to get a rag pipeline or rag system or rag application if you still are having issues let me know happy to help out if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you want to support the channel um, you know there is a 
buy me a coffee link or uh, you could also use my affiliate link to rent a gpu from them so that's it um have a good day and i'll see you in the next video thank you